Let's face it, using still image in a video can be plain boring, but sometimes you still have to use them. Today we'll take a look at two ways to animate your still images for use in the videos. What's up everyone, this is Fezan and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure to check out the rest of my channel and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Let's jump right into Final Cut Pro 10 and take a look at how it's done. So the first method is the Ken Burns effect. This is the easiest way to animate your images and most of the time this is all you need. In the timeline we have a nice beautiful landscape panoramic image. If we press shift F to reveal the image in the media browser over in the inspector window if I click the info tab you can see we have a ton of resolution to work with. So back in our timeline let's ripple trim it to the desired length. Select the image in your timeline and from the viewer drop down menu select crop and can burns. In the viewer adjust the size of your start frame and your end frame. You can also swap those around by clicking the swap button in the top left corner. But luckily the start frame and the end frame is exactly like what I wanted. Now I'm gonna go and click done and you just turn your still image into a fake camera pan. Let me show you. You can also make it look more realistic by adding a handheld effect. Go to the effects tab and type in handheld. Drag and drop the handheld effect onto our clip. Go to the inspector window and click on the video inspector tab. Reduce the distance to 0 and reduce the shakiness to say 4 to 5. Let Final Cut Pro to render out your clip. Now I'm gonna play again, you can see the difference for yourself. I'm so sorry guys, my system is a bit laggy. Next is a parallax effect. For this, you'll need a photo editing app such as Photoshop or Pixelmator. But I use Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is separate our subject from our background and split them into layers. You can use the pen tool or quick selection tool. Now guys I'm going to fast forward it because I need to refine the selection. Separate your subject from the background and split the image into layer. Now disable the subject layer and use a clone stamp tool to remove the subject from the original background layer. Re-enable the subject layer and save the image as Photoshop PSD file. Import your Photoshop PSD file into Final Cut Pro and drop it onto your timeline. If necessary, scale up your image to fit the video frame. You should see the layer icon beside the clip name to show that there are multiple layers in this image. Double click on the clip in the timeline to reveal the layers just like compound clip. Ripple trim both these layers to desired length. Place your playhead at the start of your clip and select the top layer. From the drop down menu, select transform and add a keyframe. Move your playhead to the end of your top layer and increase the scale up to 130%. Select the bottom layer, move your playhead back to the start and add a keyframe. Select the bottom layer and add a keyframe. Move your playhead to the end and set the scale up to 110%. Press the back button to go back to your project and ripple trim the layer clip. 
let the final cut pro to render out the clip now i'm gonna push play and you'll see the final result I hope you all like this tutorial and if this tutorial helps you in any way feel free to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so whenever i post this type of content you guys will be notified and if you are new here check out the rest of my channel to find more final cut pro 10 tutorials i'll see you all in the next video until then take care stay safe goodbye adios arrivederci